today 5 quick and useful tips when working in Adobe InDesign, so stay tuned. What is up people, welcome back to Satoru Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Today I have 5 tips when working in Adobe InDesign and I've actually got many many tips videos on my channel about InDesign. So if you want more videos just like this one, check out the links in the description below. The first tip today relates to the use of black in InDesign, which can be quite tricky when printing. Firstly there is something known as rich black which is made up of CMYK values such as 40, 40, 30 and 100. Rich black is excellent for large areas of black on your designs such as logos or backgrounds for example. It prevents fading to a dull grey which is especially useful for outdoor poster designs and flyers. However, the main body of text should always be process black which is 000100. This avoids any trapping problems when printing. So remember, large areas of black should be a rich black and then main body of text should be process black. When we want to duplicate something easily in InDesign, we can use the Alt Option key much like in Illustrator. However, we can actually make duplicates in large numbers with a little trick. Select an object, then use Option and Shift together on a Mac or Alt and Shift on a PC and then drag the object to make a copy. Release the keys, but before you release the mouse, press either the right or the up arrow key to make additional copies. Then you finally release the mouse. You're going to be left with multiple copies with just one operation. The third tip in today's video is an awesome feature that will allow you to change a phrase or a word across your entire design document. Just think, you might have a 100 page document and you want to change one specific phrase or word across the entire design. You can press Command or Control F to open up the Find a Change window. You can type in the word or the phrase, find it and then type in the adjustment below. Now this is a real time saver and a handy tip to know when working in InDesign. The fourth tip today is another time saver. Sometimes in Adobe InDesign, we want to have the preview mode on, or sometimes the normal mode. We can change the view mode here, but even easier and at a less expense of time, just press W on your keyboard and toggle between these two modes. Preview mode allows you to see your work without guides and bounding boxes, which enables you to see your design as a whole throughout a project. Before the final tip in today's video, if you want to expand your awareness and your skills as a graphic designer, Subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. The final tip that I have for you today is another quick time saver, and that is to come up to the corner of the rulers here, then right or control click, and then you can change the measurements and increments. So maybe you want to work in inches as opposed to centimeters. But like I said, I've got quite a few InDesign tips videos linked in the description below, so feel free to check those out. Also drop a comment in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and also share it on social media so other people can see it too. I'm going to be back later this week with more graphic design content, so until next time design your future today, peace.